Hi guys, greetings of the day. Myself Vijay Tawada and today we are going to discuss how to switch on the solid edge software and some basics of it according to the VTU syllabus. Now to do so, here you can see in the desktop there will be icon called as solid edge V19. Just double click on the solid edge V19 to switch on the software. Now the moment you double click on the software <coughs> so this is what the primary screen what you are going to get so let me maximize this uh, portion and then uh, now you can observe <coughs> here there will be a create things this we call it as an environment we have solid part sheet metal environment assembly and drawing and uh, here this environment is called as uh, uh, opening an existing file and uh, recently used documents whatever is there it will be there and the tutorials will be there favorite links and tip of the day and uh, here we will be going for uh, the drawing environment according to the syllabus so let me click on the drawing now this is what the part sheet which is going to be appear now in this what are the things are there present in this work let us discuss one by one now the top of the screen you can see uh, the solid edge V19 draft and the draft one this is nothing but the title bar which contains what is a software name and what is a file name whether it is saved or not by default it will be a draft for the drafting packages and at the right side top corner you can see this is called as minimize this is called as maximize or restore and this is going to closing of application and just below it you can see there will be a lot of pull down menu bars which consists of file and edit view insert format like this so many pull downs menu bars are present over that and the minimizing of this present file which is open restoring or maximizing the present file which is open and this is going to close the particular file but whereas this red color button is going to close the application but this is with respect to the file and now uh, these things we call it as a toolbars now which are the toolbars are there let me drag it towards the screen and uh, let us understand what are the toolbars are there and what are the toolbars which is most mandatory to solve the things now let me call one by one now this is the main toolbar which do consist of the creating the files <coughs> and this is opening the existing files and this is going to save the file which is present here and this is going to be print, cut, copy, paste, redo, undo etc and here we have a command called as zoom area, a zoom a specific directions and then fit, pan etc these are the commands which will be present in the toolbar called as main toolbar then Afterwards, we have one more important toolbar. This is called as relationship toolbar. We are going to discuss it a little later. Next comes into picture is called as the drawing toolbar. <coughs> now, in case of drawing toolbar, now you can see we have a line command and we have a curve command. Then we have an a tangent arc. Then we have a circle based center point like this. So many commands will be there, and this is called as filleting and chamfering, and this is trimming, offset, etc. So these commands are basically used to create a drawing that's why it is called as drawing toolbar and then the next command next important toolbar is called as a drawing view toolbar now here it is consists of a selecting and most of the commands which is represented here which is uh, relevant to your 3d commands which we are not going to use it at all for the first year syllabus and this is going to be the uh, dimensioning commands where we are going to give the dimensions for the particular uh, drawings and then we have a command called as text which is used to give the annotations so these are the two toolbars which we are going to use at the maximum and then I said about uh, the ribbon bar uh, the ribbon bar is also called as the properties toolbar which is going to give the properties of a uh, different different commands when, uh, whenever we are going to use say for example if I go to a command called as line now you can see uh, what type of a line is required whether I wanted a, a different color of a line or the different types of a lines I wanted whether it's a continuous line or a discontinuous line like this I can do the 
selection and also the line thickness we can able to select it now the ribbon bar has been changed to the line property in the same fashion let me go to the circle by center point now you can see for the circle again there will be a lines will be there the arts will be there hence for you can see the colors we can change it and the different types of uh, uh, the circumference whatever we are going to draw we can change it and also what is the thickness what we have to use it everything is going to be available in addition to that it is going to have the diameter and the radius but whereas in case of a line command we can see it is going to ask for the length and the angle like this it will be keep on changing the things with respect to the commands henceforth this is called as properties toolbar also and then we have the most important toolbar that is called as relationship toolbar which is going to give us the geometrical relationship and establishment with respect to one element to another element now i said element what is called as element element is nothing but whatever the entity we are going to create then once again what is called as entity whatever the drawing we are going to create either using a line command or a curve command or a arc command or a circle command or a rectangle command like this whatever it may be the moment i create anything we call it as entity in our drawings okay now let me fix up the toolbar which was there earlier and it is most convenient to me uh, to have a practice in the same fashion and there is no rule uh, hard and fast rule that uh, we have to keep the toolbars like this only we can keep it anywhere we require then we can start using it now earlier how it was i would like to keep it in the same fashion because i am very much familiar with it yes now these are the toolbars must be there now say for example at any point of time if you don't find the toolbars where it was now say for example I don't have a toolbar. I'll just remove one of the toolbars. Say, for example, I'm going to remove the drawing toolbar. Now you can say at the left hand side the drawing toolbar is not there. If the toolbars are missing, then how to recall the toolbar? It's very simple. Just move to one of the toolbars, press the right click in your mouse. The moment you press the right click, this is a toolbar. This is one of the a dialog box which is going to be appear. Now you can see there are five toolbars which is represented. now out of which uh, the manage we are not going to use at all so uh, hence we don't require it then you can see main toolbar drawing view toolbar drawing toolbar relationship toolbar now the missing toolbar is drawing just click on the drawing now you can see the drawing toolbar is going to be appearing now this is how one has to call the toolbar if it is missing now in the toolbar somewhere you can see there is a inverse triangle like this now what is the meaning of this inverse triangle the meaning of this inverse triangle is very important that <coughs> wherever you will find such kind of things it consists of more than one command now you can see along with the line we have a command called as point then along with the curve we have a command called as curve and convert to curve and then along then uh, here you can see tangent curve arc by three points arc by center point and here circle by center point circle by three points tangent circle ellipse by center point ellipse by three points and then we have a command called as rectangle here and here fillet and chamfer now wherever you will find these kind of inverse triangle we call it as a flyouts wherever you find a flyout it consists of more than a one command this is how we are going to use the things <coughs> and then before we start to draw the drawings we should make certain settings according to our university now what are those settings by default the sheet what you are going to see here will be of a2 size with having a background the background consists of a <coughs> border along with your title bar which is not required for us and the size of the sheet should be set for a4 because at the end of the examination we are supposed to give a print out for the drawings what we have created hence for whatever the drawings we are going to create here should be of having a4 size now to do that one what we have to do now at the bottom you can see there is a sheet one just go there and press the right click of the mouse then you will find the five different things out of which go for sheet setup now in the sheet setup again 
the dialog box opens there will be you can see there are three different uh, things are that now go to the background in the background go to a4 sheet and then i don't want a background henceforth i'll uncheck the background now i am changing the sheet settings to a4 sheet without background and then i'm asking a save defaults then the moment i press on the save defaults what happens these settings will become a default settings for this particular file then i'll say okay now you can see whatever the white area you are seeing here this is called as graphical user interface in the graphical user interface this is the a4 size sheet now earlier the screen was set to a2 size that's why it was large now a4 size screen is one fourth of the a2 size henceforth you can see the sheet size is very small now to make the sheet size to the complete gui then we have a command called as fit now where is the fit command in the initial days it is very difficult for us to know it for which we have a command called as help now we have a command finder let me show you how to use this one go to a command called as command finder now i said fit just type the command called as fit in your command finder then press enter the moment you say enter it will show what are the different commands are there for the fit then you just move the cursor just move the cursor don't to go to click on just move the cursor on your fit command now you can see the moment you go here the fit command has been highlighted here now once again i'll repeat can you able to observe here the fit command is highlighted by this we can easily search where the command is in the initial days now you can see i could able to see the fit the screen has been fit to the screen properly and then after doing these things what is the next thing what we have to do is go to a command called as tools in the tools this is called as alignment indicator and this is called as maintained relationships these two parameters must be always having the check marks if you don't have a check marks i will show you in the next video lecture what is going to happen and then in addition to that we have a thing called as interlist sketch go to the interlist sketch there you can see on oh, more dialog box and there are three toolbars will be there now just go to a thing called as relationships now this relationships are very very important now uh, a match stick kind of object you can see here that is called as end point which is nothing but these are the geometrical relationships while creating the drawing using the mouse when you are going to draw the drawings these are the symbols which will be represented there in our drawings which are very important to draw the drawings according to the requirements <coughs> now this symbol which is a matchstick kind of a symbol called as the end point a line at the middle we have a point that is called as midpoint and this is called as point on element now if you have any kind of a element now it is not a end point it is not a midpoint any other point will be treated as point on element then we have center point which is going to define the center of a arc or center of a circle this is a sure point which is applicable for the ellipses and other things and also for the cylindrical components this is a, a most used, or widely used for uh, the 3d objects not for 2d always and this is called as intersection point intersection of any two elements and this is called as edit point which we are not going to use it curve control vertex also we are not going to use it according to the syllabus because we don't have any freehand sketches and then we have ellipse axis point which will be used for projection of plane surfaces and then uh, uh, come a projection of solids where we are going to use these things and these are some four geometrical relationships Uh, while drawing a lines if you get these kind of lines then that is called as parallel line and uh, line if you want to draw very accurately perpendicular now you can see this is a symbol i'll be getting perpendicular and this is tangent and this is a symbol for horizontal or vertical these relationship must be always on so for example i would like to teach you something today now go to a line command now the moment you see the cursor nothing is there now you can see in the status bar it is asking for click for the first point of the line 
Now let me press the first point. Now it is asking for the second point. In which direction I can move? I can move in any direction. Now you can see the length. It is changing according to the direction I am moving and the angle. Now say for example, the length is presently showing as 133.05 with angle of 4.35. Now in the same fashion I can change it. Now it is 158.26 minus 6 degree like this. I can create it. Now you can see on the cursor right hand side you have seen a horizontal line symbol. Now whatever the symbols we have just now discussed in case of Intel sketch these symbols are going to be present here. Now I am going to create a line like this. Now the line thickness if I want to change it yes uh, let me change the thickness to 2 mm and then after changing the thickness to 2 mm now I am going to create one more lines like this. Now say for example, I wanted to draw a line which is perpendicular to this one. Then now you can see this is called as point on element, this is called as end point and this is called as midpoint. Now I wanted to draw a line like this. Now you can see the li this line is parallel to this line what we are going to create. Now you can see this is the parallel symbol which is going to be appear and now you can see this is going to be perpendicular to the line which is already created earlier like this we are going to have a different command and then you can see this is how we are going to use the things basically now let me delete all the things now let us recall the things what we have done now very first what we have created we have double clicked on the solid edge icon and then uh, let me re recreate it. Now double click on the solid edge icon. The moment solid edge icon opens and then we have to go for environment called as drawing. In the drawing make sure that the five toolbars must be present. Which are the five toolbars? Main, drawing views, drawing and relationship and of course the ribbon bar we cannot eliminate it. And then once you make that toolbars are present go to tools. In the tools alignment indicator maintain relationships must be on and we have also discussed about the interlace sketch relationships then after which go to the sheet one right click sheet setup change this background to a1 to sorry a2 to a4 without background save defaults then say ok and then fit this then we this screen is ready to do our drawings now I will also show you how to save a file. Go to a command called as save. It will ask where it has to be saved. Now I will save it wherever it is required. Now let me create one uh, uh, <coughs> a folder in a drive called as uh, a learning and I have created. Now I am going to discuss it as a basics. Now it has saved as basics. Now you can see at the top of the toolbar uh, you can see it is a draft version it is using the solid as v19 in the title bar it is showing and now earlier it was a draft one now it has been changed to basics and this is how you are going to save your file once the file has been saved if you press ctrl s ctrl s whatever we are going to do it everything is going to be overwritten on the existing file and this is how this is what the basics what we wanted to discuss. Thank you guys and myself Vijay Tavardhan once again and if you have any doubts in regard to it you can call me at any point of time. Thank you. But please make sure that the calling time will not be at late nights. Thank you.